Hey, it's all with some more Dragonflight Alpha coverage. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more WoW and Dragonflight videos. Today I'm going to quickly go over two activities in the Waking Shores zone that testers were directed to by Josh Augustine, a game designer on the WoW team. The first is a cozy little rafting ride where you take pictures of animals, giving a real kind of Pokemon Snap vibe if you're familiar with that game. The objective is to point your camera until you get into focus, I think, that's shown when your target is glowing a little bit. And then you take the picture, you get a quick rating of how rare of an animal it is, and what is the quality of the shot. The quest that introduces this feature offers a pretty short course to get you familiar with the gameplay. The bottom action bar over there has a shoot button, but also a button to reload your camera. From the looks of it, you'll also be able to obtain upgrades to increase your film roll size and automatically refill film, and then discover legendary wildlife. It's a neat little minigame. It's very chill, very relaxed. Maybe the footage that I'm showing you here doesn't make it seem like it because it's the first time I'm seeing it and well, I'm kind of jumping all over the place. The other activity is a rock climbing sort of feature. It's also introduced in a quest that has me get some rock climbing equipment and then you just get right into it. It's a pretty simple click to move game. You're moving from node to node wherever you can go until you reach your destination. I found another climbing minigame that asked me to click on important objects while monkeys pelted me and knocked me down. Just like the photo game, there are abilities that can be upgraded, not now but probably later, to let me create my own climbing ledges to increase my grip strength and more. I like that these activities are, you know, very different from what we've seen before, but they still keep me in the game. Like, they're not super detached from what Warcraft is, like the puzzles in Xerath Mortis. I mean, I'm taking pictures of animals out in the world. I'm climbing and collecting things that I can't reach, even if I were to be on a flying mount. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I found it slightly weird that in an expansion that puts a lot of emphasis on dragon riding all over the place, there's this rock climbing activity. But, you know what, it's simple and it's fun, so I'll just run with it. The reason I bring this up is because according to Josh, these activities are a sneak peek of endgame content with the faction that this is associated with, the Dragon Scale Expedition. So far we're missing a lot of context, like what are we repping up for? Does this get me closer to Keystone Master, you know, that sort of thing. But for now, I don't think we should worry our heads off over it. I do have some impressions though. I see the intention here as to provide a wide variety of endgame activities. And I gotta say that this one came as a pleasant surprise. As players, we're definitely gonna have our share of defeating bad guys in dungeons and raids and out in the world. So I pay special attention to activities that are not combat related, from the Xerath Mortis puzzles to the Kirin Tor dailies in Legion to profession world quests. These two activities are bonafide zone features. This camera game is a break from the action to enjoy the ambience of the world of the Dragon Isles. Rock climbing is a bit of an adventure, and both have their own systems of progression that aren't overly deep. They don't need sims to overcome. But these are getting enough attention that the developers want us to see the Dragon Isles from different perspectives. I see the rock climbing as especially interesting because it gives the additional opportunity to reach heights that wouldn't be possible even with dragon riding, or at least to have a bit better of a starting height if we can climb a nearby ledge. I got the impression that I'd also be able to use rock climbing to find herb and mining nodes that can't be obtained even while flying. That's pretty cool because previously WoW didn't design the world around that possibility. There are some very minor alpha sorts of issues that I had and I'll just bring it up for the sake of bringing it up. The ratings of how my pictures looked, they kind of zip by super fast because they're inserted into the game world. Maybe sending those alerts to the chat log instead would be better for the sake of visibility. When rock climbing, there's also no indicator, or at least no good indicator, on how my grip strength is looking, even after I'm getting pelted by bananas or whatever these things are. With this, along with dragon riding and the many, many race courses that have been added all throughout the Dragon Isles, we're starting to get a glimpse of what endgame in Dragonflight is going to be like. The Dragon Scale Expedition is just one out of five known factions, and these games are in one zone that we know of, with three other zones to go. For me, the jury's still out on how I feel about what I'll be logging into each day, but for now, I give picture taking and rock climbing my little nod of approval. These are cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of what the factions and zones have to offer in Endgame. And if data mining has said anything at all, there is a lot more coming. 
So that's all I've got, and for now, I thank you for coming. Like the video, subscribe for more coverage, and I will catch you later. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.